In this video I'm going to explain how to work on Craft Excel Add-in. Craft Excel Add-in is mainly used for facility layout. But before we start the video, I've already worked on two Excel Add-in. I'll attach the link in the description below. And as a practical example how to find the optimal layout in a factory. Layout of machine or department in a factory. Based on many algorithm as a from two and uh, which is analysis of the flow uh, as well as a cost as well as assigning fixed points which cannot be moved saying for example the toilet system in a factory are fixed as where it should be so we cannot move it in the factory from one place to another but before i start please subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to do more videos if you have any question write to my email address or leave a comment below this video so let's start Craft is a computerized relative allocation of facility technique. Of facility technique and computerized relative allocation of facility technique is a tool used to help improve. Is a tool help to is a tool help to improve the existing layout of facility. The layout the facility is improved by swapping the facility is improved by swapping the two or more department to help arrange the facility to an optimal floor plan. So the computer relative allocation of facility uh, allocation of facility is a tool used to help improve the existing layout of facility. The facility is improved by swapping two or more department to help arrange to an optimal floor plan. Input to craft from to chart, cost matrix, distance, and initial layout. It is used on the number of departments almost that the manual computation would be impossible. Craft is basically used with process layout approach, which is also known as functional layout that usually used in job shop or batch production facility. Craft do use a pairwise exchange algorithm that may not return the optimal result because the final solution depend on the initial layout of the plant. Rather than examine all the possible swap, Kraft considers a swap of only adjacent department part or pairs that have the same deal. So it starts by swapping the one next to each other before it swaps the one who are further apart. And literally it swaps the one with the same uh, area as a priority for the swapping basic step of craft has been modified a number of times but we can use COFAD in the reference 1976 four step algorithm tackles the problem we start by initially define the layout add excuse me select the material handling system for the layout which is MHS material handling system obtain the first step Calculate and verify the cost of each move based on material handling equipment to each move. This three first step is repeated until a satisfactory solution is obtained. To get a good quality final solution, the user must provide different starting solution. Evaluate the final solution obtained for each of these to choose the best one. This is a software add-in uh, with the links provided in the box below. Like here you could say how many departments you have and how many fixed points. As we say fixed points the ones they don't move in a system and we are using metric unit. Each one cell here, so we have scale as one meter. A scale is 15 with like 15 meter 15 cells width is 10 the area is 10 times 15 150 
so we have 10 department and in the system and we've got the area of every department and the number of cells available and we have from two chart which is a cost to move from department 3 to department 1 but please if you're unaware how to use this go back to the uh, address link provided below it explains details how to use this toolbox so the next step will generate the end layout by clicking the define facility which does generate the solution and here by clicking the define facility of generate use a final solution layout as we see here so this is the colors of department and this is the cost to move from one department to another then based on the final solution layout the first part is evaluated the final solution for each of this and choose the best one the output file generated layout itself can be classified into three parts okay the part will give the detailed information such as the area required in every single department sent road for x and y which is like the middle point of every department and the sequence used in a to go from one place to another so six button can be traced in the visual layout those are buttons random layout evaluate so flow change facility and we get this option as we see it here the last part explain how many iteration used in this case we used uh, one iteration and the cost to get to where we are the initial cost is 1878 the final cost is 1978 which is not good at all so we need to keep on going through the iteration till we get the best solution we have the fact that the calculation is done by computer sophisticated calculating machine is clearly advantage to save a lot of both of time and money in the process it gives room to define the variable and constraint that we will have out in the reward flexibility can be seen there are six buttons that can be utilized to generate series of different solution um, concerning disadvantages it could be coded as inefficient because the practicality in real life is different unless you to consider this as an estimation of what it's supposed to look like but do not count on it 100% um, jobs that occurred uh, therefore we have the, the flow is not all forwards sometimes we have backtracking we have lots of idle time um, as well as the not end result the end result that made me modified and this is, it always takes the best immediate solution uh, not always constant and cause fluctuation in the process so there are some of the points which we said like the backtracking, the idle time as well as um, the end solution is not always a practical solution yes it's optimal solution not always a practical when you come to work on it uh, so this is a craft excel add-in I need to remind you craft is Excel add-in which is computerized relative allocation of facility technique uh, to improve the existing layout of the facilities so please have a look at the attached link at the box below in order to know or to see a practical example on how to use it